Now I'm going to show you how I do one of these sort of simple sticker type icons. So take a new file, doesn't matter what size it is really. Let's get rid of the background so it's transparent. New folder, group, a few layers. And we'll start with uh, Zebra because he's quite simple and easy. Also easy to get wrong, but in this simple style it should work. Very round, so just select the round tool, circle, elliptical marquee tool. Hold down and control before making a circle. That'll make sure you get an absolute circle. Bucket fill. That's his head. Take another layer. Do the same for his body. Bucket fill white. And duplicate that layer. Now we're going to turn one of these circles solid black, so fortunately black and white, very easy to just invert. There we go. Using the elliptical tool again, delete. A bit higher up maybe. Yeah, and that gives us this, his trousers. Suggest the head goes there instead. Right. Now for his bow tie, again it's more circles and ellipses. So hold control for the middle portion, bucket fill. Now for each side it's a bit more oval shape, so we'll try that instead. Position it there. Duplicate the layer. So he's got one on either side, that's his bow tie. Now for his hair. Um, again, solid black. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a new layer above the head and put in half a triangle. Now you notice it doesn't look quite right yet but that's okay because what I'm going to do is select the circle of his head with the magic wand tool and then go up to the hair layer and then delete now it's more flush with the rest of his head so I've got half his hair done so duplicate the layer transform flip make sure they're both in line that widow's peak merge down now for his eyes start with a circle tool again to give him a mischievous expression which he usually has we shall cut the circle in half a little bit at an angle like that and then add his pupil in Maybe about that size, maybe a little bit bigger. Now let's make the whole eye a little bit bigger. That's about right. Duplicate. Transform. Flip. This becomes second nature after a while. And the simple style really works for getting them looking the same on either side. Now for his nose. Again, with the polygonal tool, let's do a little triangle. And then bucket fill. Now it's not quite even, you'll see, so we'll do the same trick again by deleting half of it this time. Duplicating layer, edit, transform, flip. Let's line those up. Perfect. Now let's merge those layers so that his nose is perfect. It's perfectly aligned in the centre. Now for the mouth. New layer. I'm going to use the circle tool again, only I'm going to use lips like that. Solid black, bucket fill. Still keeping the ellipse on. Highlight the ellipse again. Move up a little bit. And then delete. That leaves the mouth looking very cheeky, so it's very on brand. And now for his tooth, I'll just duplicate the nose and 
transform it 180 degrees and move it down. Up his nose there. Become his tooth. Let's just colour this in a separate layer. that. Now his ears, I'll just uh, more triangles except I'm going to put them in a slightly more rounded edge so right click refine edge smooth up to 100 shift edge down to minus 100 and OK. Bucket fill and just gives a slightly rounded tip to them and then do the whole duplicate and flip trick again Now for his braces, the buttons are circles again, so again hold control, the buttons are white. Now you notice we can't quite see them against the white of his shirt there, so what we want to do is add a little outline. So double click on the layer, select outer glow, select normal with opacity up to 100%. Select the colour, which is black. Select the spread up to 100. And the size, let's say 11. That usually seems to be about right. That, that one, now we can see the outline, so it doesn't matter where we put it. So duplicate that. Rectangular marquee tool. Bucket fill. Let's just align that straight. That's perfect. Duplicate. And again, now he needs some limbs, so let's put some on there. Put his arm like this. A little bit more freehand. It's still got that geometric kind of shape going on. Let's put that at the very bottom there. Let's make sure it's behind everything. That's about right. Put a circle, because I usually have a lot of sort of simple fisty circle for the hands and the style you can make that in the same layer no reason why not duplicate the layer edit transform flip horizontal there we go now just his legs to do Same principle. Solid black this time. The ellipse for his foot. Let's line that just perfectly. Duplicate. Edit. Transform. Flip horizontals. The same song and dance. And there we go. That's him finished. And if you want to save that as a, a sticker file, you have to make sure you click Save As and then save it as a PNG file and that will remove the the background so and it will end up looking more like these ones so I hope that was informative and I hope you enjoy making your own little stylized stickers such as these